Assalamu alaikum everybody. Welcome to this episode of 1001 American Muslim Nights. <laughs> Well, even though it's been a month and a half, I feel like I need to start by addressing the tiny fingered elephant in the room. We elected President-elect Donald Trump, a man who ran on a platform of xenophobia and bigotry with a special helping of Islamophobia sprinkled in for fun. Now, he's been elected, and that means a few things about the people in this country. One, there's a ton of people who are either support his policies or are totally cool with bigotry and are just gonna kind of ignore it because they think they're gonna get tax breaks. Either way, very, very depressing, especially since we're facing things like a registry of every Muslim that exists in this country, which I guess is gonna be everyone who's ever said the Shahada. Not sure exactly how they're gonna judge that, but it's not my problem. And we're also facing fun things like internment camps, like the Japanese Americans faced during World War II in the 1940s. That's how far we've regressed, America. 1940s. But I am not here today to talk about all the bad things that are coming out after this election. I am not trying to just like ignore them or dismiss them. There are definitely been an uptick in hate crimes. There's definitely been an uptick in threats against people who just wrap their head, even if they're not Muslim. Um, but there's also been an uptick in my personal life of people that are just so incredibly good and caring that have been looking out for me. And I am not talking about my friends and family. They're great. But I am talking about complete and total strangers who have been coming up to me and asking me if I'm OK or if I need anything. An 82-year-old woman actually came up to me in the bathroom and told me that if anyone bothers me, she was going to take care of them. And I just needed to come find her downstairs, which awesome. Good for you. I trust you 100% that you will do that. And I appreciate it. I even had, a few days after the, uh, the actual election, I even had two different people on the same day say, Salaam Alaikum to me, which I'm pretty sure means they were trying to say Salaam Alaikum, but had never actually heard it before. Now, I'm not sure that these people aren't Muslim, but I really think that they were people who were not Muslim, but were just trying to make me feel welcome and to feel safe. I've also had this uptick in people getting between me and anyone who looks at me funny while I'm dri like riding on the metro. Now, this isn't always a good thing. One time a woman got between me and a man who kept staring at me, and it was making me uncomfortable. I don't like it when guys stare at me. But she got between us, and she just glared at him, and glared at him, and glared at him. And then when he got off, he handed me a pamphlet for, I believe it's called, the Islamic History of American Muslim History Museum, something like that. And later on, I found out that Dean TV had actually profiled him and the facility, and he was actually the owner. So I kind of wish that the situation hadn't happened quite in that way, but her intentions were so, so good. And that's the thing I really want to focus on, is people's intentions often are so good. People are, you know, this election really brought out the worst in the worst, but it also brought out the best in the rest of us. And I think that's something we have to remember, that there's so many of us who are good. There are so many people in this beautiful, bright, diverse country that get that diversity is what makes us great and want to keep us great. And I think as long as we keep that in mind and as long as we keep helping each other and supporting each other, especially supporting the other groups that Trump has come after in his campaign and who have been getting their own share of interesting aftermath kind of situations. As long as we just keep supporting each other, I really think we're going to be okay. So stay good people, stay supportive, love one another. Sam Wide from Have a beautiful, beautiful day. This Dean TV video was brought to you in part by Penny Appeal USA. Small change, big difference. By Islamic Relief, working together for a better world. And by Guidance Residential, the number one Islamic home financer in the U.S.